That's not plastic. That's real. It's looking at you. It's staring at you, audience. That's a bald eagle. But it doesn't look very bald to me. Who came up with that name? Very cute. Off of the name. <laughs> oh, it's flapping its wings. And whoever came up with the name Bald Eagle is definitely flying. <laughs> That's real. Well, he's a boy. Oh, it's a boy, I guess. Size is the only and way to make a female. Huh. No so smaller than females, a third smaller. That's. But Liberty actually is a southern bald eagle, so what you're seeing outside is going to be larger than what you see right here. Because the southern bald eagle does not have to be as big and bulky because they typically don't see those cold temperatures down south versus what they have up here. So he's smaller, so he's going to get two strikes against him in size wise. He's a male and he's Pretty. southern because he's actually from Florida. But Liberty here actually um, guess your name, his name's Liberty. most bald eagles do. Poop. Or most birds of prey do even. Besides hunting for themselves, they also scavenge. Oh, scavenge. And if you're a bald eagle, you can also pirate and steal from another bird. Oh, that's mean. Which is why Ben Franklin would want him as a national symbol. Thank you, Ben Franklin. So, <laughs> but anyway, Liberty actually came to us from Florida. And unfortunately, depending on how you look at it, Liberty survived two car crashes. So oh my! Very lucky and that See that? Five two car crashes. It's pretty sweet. <laughs> so, so he was doing the bird. scavenging thing alongside the road inside to get whatever dead carcass there was, and he was eating away. And all of a sudden, this car was coming, and knowing Liberty, he's not looking both ways like you can teach a kid to look both ways before crossing the street. Liberty doesn't do that, and he just goes up and flies up in front of the car. And the first time he did that, he broke his collarbone. And that was a nice clean break. Showing off his six foot wingspan for you. It was a nice clean break, so he was able to put a, they were able to put a pin in that and rehab him and release him back out in the wild. But to give you an idea of how smart they are, I hope you guys can hear this. What you say, unless that won't be very useful. Flew up in front of another car. And now he has detached retinas in both eyes. So he's not blind, but his vision is very poor. So he just cannot be able to see like he would need to see if he was out in the wild. So to give you an idea of how well a bird of prey can actually see, so because of that, so apparently this bird's about almost blind. About two years of age. So the bird might miss if he jumps into the bowl. So typically, bald eagles out in the wild, they live to be 20 to 25. However, with bird of prey in captivity, depending on the species, you can double and sometimes triple their lifespan. With liberty species here, he, we can double his lifespan so he could live to be 40 to 50 years old with us. So he's still kind of in that teenager stage right now. Why, why would there be such a great variance? Well, one of the huge uh, differences is if he gets sick out in the wild, that's pretty much the end of him right there. If he gets sick in captivity, we can take him to the vet and give him medicine get them all fixed up again. So that's one of the huge factors. Another one is he doesn't have to worry about predators. I mean, he, he's on an outdoor perch like this, but he's constantly got us to look for predators for him. And we do not leave him outside at night either. So that takes a lot of predators away. He's kind of spoiled yeah. really. And then also, um, he doesn't have to worry about food. Where's, where's his next meal coming from? There's no bird that can kill coming from it.
outside so he's got a six foot wingspan so as tall as I am that's what his wingspan is from tip to tip they usually range between six to eight feet Liberty also only weighs eight pounds that is on the small end as well because they typically range between eight to fifteen pounds he looks a lot bigger than what he is because he's got over 7,000 feathers on this body. So he has control over each and every individual feather, and right now he's kind of got some of them pooped out and making him look a lot bigger than what he actually is. The other thing that he has is hollow bones versus our very dense bones. So if he had dense bones like ours, he's never going to get off the ground, so he has to have hollow bones. Of predators, again, like I mentioned, he, he was struck by a car, so... We are their worst predators. Um, other bald eagles can actually um, do damage to them. They get into their little fights up there in the air and the territorial issues. Um, as, as an egg, you can fall prey to a snake. As a chick, well, even as an egg, you can still fall prey to raccoons. As a chick, you can fall prey to raccoons and possums, things like that. So as a chick, you can also fall prey to your siblings. If you're weaker, they'll pick you out of the nest as well. So. But again, we are their number one. Their worst enemy, actually. Is this is the flash bother his eyes? Not at all. He's been doing this for so many years. He's used to everything about him. In fact, he earlier he did what we call a rouse, where he shook out all his feathers, got all pooped up, shook all those feathers out. And that usually tells us right there that he is comfortable with his surroundings, because that's the only time he can do that. Is this the one who is blind in one eye? He's actually, um, he's not typically, he's not blind. I think you're thinking of Bianca, who still has a pellet in his, uh, her eye, his eye from being shot. Liberty actually has been hit by a car. He is um, detached retinas in both eyes. He what? He has detached retinas in both eyes. Oh, really? How old is he? He is 19 years old. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> Sorry, I should have warned you about that. I pretty much know what he's going to do that. <laughs> That's seven years of working with him. So that his name is Liberty. So what do you feed him? <clears throat> In captivity, we do the same thing as what he would do out in the, in the wild. We want to make sure that he stays with his nice feather and bone structure, things like that. Out in the wild, bald eagles are 80% fish eaters, so that's typically what we try to stick with at the sanctuary. However, we also know that they are scavengers as well. So we can also feed them deer meat, rabbit, rats, quail, dale, chips. Things like that. <laughs> Pretty much whatever he wants. <laughs> Big elbow. That's all for today, guys. Comment, rate, and subscribe.